morning. Great to be in the house of the Lord. Um, just like an extra special blessing on Sunday morning to, to come here and be with uh, people of like minds, people you love, and and uh, join together in fellowship and worship in God. So, <coughs> excuse me. This morning I want to read a couple verses out of Hebrews, um, chapter twelve, uh, verses three and four. It says, For consider him, who him being Jesus, who endured such hostility from sinners against himself, lest you become weary and discouraged in your souls. You have not yet resisted to bloodshed, striving against sin. Um, The New International Version says, You have not shed your own blood to resist sin. Um, we know that Jesus came to this earth as a baby, and he grew, and he lived, and uh, he was perfect. And whenever he died, he was perfect. And that's the only way that we can have forgiveness of sin. Um, he was, you know, before Jesus' time, they, uh, they offered sacrifices of sheep and goats and calves and doves, and uh, Jesus' blood was was much better than any of that blood to, uh, to forgive us of our sins. And we can't forgive ourselves of our sins. You know, we're born into this world as a baby, and we're born into a world of sin. I mean, it's already there. As soon as we get old enough to learn how to misbehave, how to reject, we start doing it. I mean, we do it right away. And uh, we are continually living in a world of sin. And uh, once we've sinned, our blood is not good enough. We could not shed our own blood to forgive ourselves of our sin. Jesus is the only one that, that uh, was perfect. He was the only one that, that has the blood that can forgive us of our sins. And <clears throat> it's not only uh, the sins that we're committing now that we ask for forgiveness for. Whenever we are called, whenever we are chosen by God, and we uh, allow him to come into our hearts and we follow him, all our sins are forgiven. I mean, that's sins from the, our past, and that's sins from our future. Um, you know, we're, we, we are human, you know, and, and the Bible says that we're going to make mistakes. We are going to sin. We're going to struggle with it. But it don't mean that we go out there and sin on purpose. It means that we strive to be like Jesus. We strive to be perfect. We strive not to sin. And in doing this, um, it's not only an outward appearance of sin, but it's inwardly too. Uh, To steal the line from Scott the other night, you know, we strive not to cuss. We strive not to lie. We, uh, whenever we go out into this world, you know, we strive not to covet our neighbor's wife. But, what do we do in our head? You know, what are the thoughts that we have? The thoughts that we have, you know, something happens to us, somebody cuts us off going down the street in a car, we want to cuss them out in our head, you know. And that's not right. You know, we got to, we got to not only do it physically, but we've got to mentally put sin out of our lives. And, and we all do that. We all, we all struggle with it daily. But the blood of Jesus Christ is the only thing that takes that sin away. And uh, God told us that in the scripture, that his blood is perfect, his blood is what does it, and we have to believe in that blood. So whenever you are, uh, whenever you're called, whenever you are allowing to God, allowing God to be in your life, and you are out in this world proclaiming his word, and you are uh, telling people about Christ, remember to tell them that it was Christ's blood that makes them free. Nothing else, nothing that they can do, nothing that they can work for, nothing that they can, uh, uh, you know, if <clears throat> you, you, you can't go out there and sin and then cut your arm and say, I'm bleeding for myself, I'm going to save myself. That, that don't even enter people's mind usually. But it's not your blood, it's nothing that you can do. It's Jesus Christ dying on the cross. Um, and it wasn't an easy death. It was a horrible death that he faced there. 
And uh, none of us usually even think about that, even think about what Christ went through to forgive us of our sins. So I'm, uh, I'm just telling you to, uh, to remember that it, it's Christ, it's no one else, nothing else in this world, none of the works that we can do can get us into God's grace like the blood of Jesus Christ. Um, pray with me, please. Lord, we thank you for today, and we thank you for the, uh, the many blessings that you give us, and we thank you so dearly and thank you so much for, for sending Jesus to this earth, Lord, sending him here as a baby to grow, to uh, be raised, to, uh, to be the perfect sacrifice for you, for, for us, Lord, that uh, we may be able to spend etern eternity with you and uh, just be with us and help us and guide us as we go through these hours of worship, these hours of study, that uh, your word will be proclaimed, Lord, that, that you will be here amongst us, that, uh, that Jesus Christ will be, uh, will be glorified. In Christ's name we pray.